Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be shopping my stash again, but before we shop my stash, I like to go ahead and tell you guys about everything that I tried last week. So right there, if I need to declutter anything, we can go ahead and get rid of it. So let's get into it. So the first thing are the two lip palettes from Urban Decay. So these are the Vice lip palettes. I don't think they sell these anymore, so this is not something that you can actually pick up anymore, unfortunately, because these are really nice. I really love the versatility of being able to create whatever lipstick shades I want to. My favorite thing was mixing this green in. Believe it or not, I didn't think I would like mixing that green whatsoever. I thought for sure that I would never even use that. But mixing that with the other colors really created some different lipstick looks. So I love these lipstick palettes. Actually, I think I prefer these over regular lipsticks now. This does come with a little applicator as well, somewhere in here. Here it is. So this little applicator goes in there. That way there you can go ahead and do your lips with it and just wipe it off as you go or clean it up as you go. So this, all you have to do is pull it and then it adjusts so that you can use it. The only thing is I've noticed when I'm trying to clean this sometimes it tries to go in on itself. So that's the only issue I had with this whatsoever. So this is really nice. These are nice, nice, nice. I love these. So these are definitely staying in my collection. I think that, like I said, I think I like these more than lipstick products right now. So like actual lipstick tubes. The next thing is this right here. This is the Physician's Foil. This is the Brightening Complex, the Healthy Foundation. I really like this foundation. I think that it doesn't give me full coverage, but it still looks so beautiful on my skin. I like how it makes my skin look nice and glowy. I have a problem. You guys know my skin is very dry, so I have an issue with trying to make my skin not look so dry and unhealthy looking. So this really does a great job of making it look a lot more alive and vibrant. So I love the way this looks. This is a good color match for me as well. It's a little light right now, but it's not anything that I can't work with by putting a little bronzer on. So I love this. It's definitely staying in my collection. Then we have the Tom Ford. This is the eye base duo. So basically the top part is your powder. The bottom portion is a cream product. So this is the part that you're going to put on your lid and then you put the powder on to set everything down. This is a really expensive item. Would I ever purchase this again? Absolutely not. Do I enjoy this? Yes, I do enjoy it. Do I think it makes a bigger difference than any other eye primer that I've ever tried? No, I don't think so. Honestly, I feel like it's not anything extraordinary. It's not anything revolutionary. So I wouldn't recommend going out and purchasing it. I just am not going to get rid of it because I spent a lot of money on this darn little thing right here, but I will never purchase it again. So I do like it, but not anything that I would ever purchase again. Then we have the Pat McGrath. This is the Sublime Skin Highlighting trio so there's three different shades in here so you get these three shades these do come off a little bit different even though these two look very similar in the pan there is a difference in them so this one has a little bit more of like a pinky purple shift and this one has more of like a golden shift so i don't know if you can tell it or not on my finger swatch i feel like the first one here is a little powdery for some reason i'm not sure why but the other ones are not powdery like that i have no idea why the first one is so powdery like it is it's a little weird but once you put it on it's not powdery it comes out beautiful looking on your skin so again I think these are really nice they look kind of deceiving you'd almost think that when you look at these they would be like the Stila ones or they'd be soft and like um, almost like the ColourPop type of products but they're not they're not at all they're definitely powder products so I do enjoy this so I'm going to be keeping this in my collection then we have the two Jaclyn Hill eye palettes so we have the Armed and Gorgeous and the Bling Boss. I Like I told you guys, I did not even use this one. I couldn't even be bothered by using this one, even though I love purples. Purples are one of my favorite shades. I think purples look beautiful on especially green eyes, but I didn't touch it. The reason why I didn't touch it is because I got into the Armed and Gorgeous palette and I couldn't stop using it, guys. I love these colors here so, so much, especially Top Secret, which is that green shade right here. I don't think I have a shade like that at all in my collection, and I have a pretty large eye palette collection. I don't think I have a shade like that. So this palette for me is an unusual palette that I love. I love this palette. I know there's some shades in here that I have a little bit harder time to blend out, but it's not that they're impossible to blend out. They definitely do blend out. I think it's gorgeous. I love this palette, so it's definitely staying in my collection. This one I'm just going to put back in and we'll shop my stash for it again at another time, but oh my gosh, this was gorgeous. Maybe we should go ahead and use the other Morphe, another Morphe palette this week. I don't know. We'll figure it out as we're going. Then we have the Besame powder. This one here is in the brightening uh, vanilla and rose so it's pink when you put it on the powder actually looks pink let me 
I need to slide around here so I can show you. So the powder looks pink when you put it on. So it has a pink hue to it. So, but it doesn't show up on your skin like that. So don't worry. Don't think that you're going to put this on and all of a sudden your face is going to be pink all over. It's not. It's still a translucent powder. It works really well. I don't like this for under my eyes. I have found I don't like the Bessemer powders for under my eyes. It works fine. But I've noticed when I use this under my eyes, I do get a little bit more creasing than what I get when I use my Becca under eye powder. So this one here is really good, but, and this one smells nice too. It smells a little bit like vanilla. So if you like those scented type of products, you're going to love this as well. Then we have our Smashbox palette. This is an older palette. This was like a 2017, I think maybe. This is the LA Lights palette. This is the contour, blush, and highlight palette. So you get lots of different shades in here. It's a pretty large palette though. I mean, you get a ginormous mirror. Look how big that mirror is. The mirror is huge. So you get lots of blush shades. You get some highlight shades. You get a bronze shade. I really do like this palette. I think it's gorgeous. I think the only thing for me is the size to it. Like I wouldn't travel with this. There's no way I would ever take this for traveling because it's really heavy and it's such a big size. I'm like, no, this is not a travel friendly palette in my opinion, but oh my gosh, I can't even open it now, but it does work well for me for like all these different shades. I think the two highlights right here are absolutely gorgeous. I absolutely love all the blushes. I like mixing my blushes together, especially if I mix them with a bronze. I like mixing blush with bronze. I don't know why, but I just think it looks really pretty on the cheek. So this is a palette that's definitely staying in my collection as well. Then we have two things from ColourPop here. These are the, these are like eyeliners, I believe is what they're called. So these are Overboard and Call Me. So these are cream gel, cream gel colors. So basically they're eyeliners. So this one here is more of like a bronzy type of shade. And then that was overboard and then call me is more of like a purpley shade i don't love these i feel like the pigmentation to them is a little bit off i feel like they don't look that pigmented when you first put them on your lids you have to continue to like build it up to get a good coverage they're just not my favorite so these are actually going to be decluttered so they are leaving my collection then we have the tart tardis this is the mascara that i think this is called the lash paint mascara Lash Paint, yep. Lash Paint Mascara. I really like this mascara. Do I think it gives me a lot of volume and length? No. I think it gives me volume, but not, or sorry. I think it gives me length, but not volume. So I like a mascara that does both. So this one does not do both in my opinion. So if you're looking for one to give you both type of product, both type of things for your lashes, I don't recommend this. My favorite for that is the It Cosmetics Superhero. I think that one gives you length and volume and it makes your lashes look almost like you're wearing artificial lashes or false lashes. This does not give that false lash effect, but it's pretty on the lashes and it doesn't like uh, smudge off and it doesn't flake off or anything like that. So it does work. So I'm going to continue to use it. I've almost used it up, so it doesn't have much longer to live. So <laughs> the next thing is the J-Cat Beauty. This is the H2O Fresh Dewy Base Primer. This is a hydrating oil-free primer. This is a very inexpensive brand that you can find at Ulta, and believe it or not, this was so good on my skin. First of all, it smells really nice. It smells like like a men's face cream or something, like a men's aftershave. It just smells really good. I'm not sure that I would recommend getting products that smell that, you know, strongly of a perfume, but I don't really see where there's a perfume listed here. I couldn't find one anyway, but that was just kind of quickly scanning over it. I'm sure there might actually be perfume in here. You guys probably have already taken a screenshot, found it and said, yep, there is perfume in there, Tiffany. So either way, I really like the way this looks on my skin. I think it looks really, really good because it gives my skin that boost of hydration. And it also feels very good on the skin. It's very cooling. So I love this. Then we have the Milani. This is the Milani Easy Brow. Ugh, guys, this color, first of all, is not a good color for me. I don't like the color of it. The color is like orangey almost. I don't think it looks good on my brows. Secondly, it's a really creamy formula where I feel like it just moves around very easily. I don't like this formula. So this will be decluttered, but I have one more video that I need to use this in. So I'm going to use it in that second or the next video. And then after that, it's, it's gone. It's gone. Then we have the Maybelline. This is the Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser. Ugh, you guys can tell that I really do enjoy this because I've used a lot of this. I don't use this every day though. For me, this is more when I want my face to look almost flawless. So this really does a good job of getting rid of any dark circles that I have. When I put this on, I look like I have almost like, like, I don't know, face filter on or something because my skin looks really good underneath my eyes. It works really well. It works well with my dry skin. So I'm definitely keeping that. Then we have the 
bath i'm sorry not bath and body works this is the soap and glory this is the mighty contour so basically the top part is your bronze shade the bottom two shades are blush and highlight so if i can open it up for you it's always hard to get to the second portion so there's your blush and highlight so i've got a little bit of blush mixed in with my highlight there. i don't know if you can tell it or not but i ended up mixing them somehow but i really like the contour shade i don't like the blush or the highlight shade I don't feel like they did much of a difference but the contour shade works really well and I believe it or not I think I like the cream contour better than using a blush or a uh, powder contour I feel like it blends in better and I don't look so like muddy so for me this just looks really good on my skin so I'm gonna actually keep this this is something that actually kind of surprised me how much I enjoyed it once I started using it I was like I don't like cream products I don't know why I bought this and then after I started using it, I'm like yeah that's pretty good so I really enjoy that then we have the physician's formula this is the instant ready the full coverage concealer ah oh, guys this is like really really full coverage you only need a tiny little bit of this stuff this would look really good as a foundation i wish they made a foundation like this because this would work really good as a foundation it does look a little dry if you try to use it as a foundation so you want to definitely make sure you're hydrated so but it it's beautiful i mean i can't have any other words for it other than it's beautiful so i'm going to hold on to that as well so i'm getting rid of three items from this week's collection those will be gone out of my collection because these just didn't work for me so they will be leaving hasta la vista now we're moving over to our foundation drawer we're going to go ahead and start shopping our stash so in the foundation drawer i'm going to look for something for nice and glowy skin somebody had recommended that i try this out again so i think i'm going to try this over here the oh my gosh the it cosmetics the illumination so I think I'm going to use this again before I actually declutter it. I did declutter it and then I pulled it back once somebody had mentioned that it was really good for their dry skin. I was like, okay, wait, let me give it another shot. Maybe I just wasn't using it like I should have been. I don't know, but I'm going to give it one more shot. You get one last chance here, buddy. So we're going to hold on to that. I need to go up and grab my shopping cart. We didn't grab the shopping cart today, so we need our buggy. Okay, so now we've got the little shopping cart so we can put our foundation in here. So that's good to go. Now we're going to find an eyeshadow palette. So the eyeshadow palette I want to use actually is a new one. Let me grab the box here. This is a Sephora haul I recently filmed for you guys, but I'm not sure when I'll put it up on my channel. I want to try all these products out, so I have played with this a little bit already. So the thing I want to play with out of here, first of all, I want to play with this. I want to play with the Anastasia Lip Palette, so I want to play with that. It's dirty from eyeshadow, so I want to play with this, so we're going to use that this week. But then I also want to use this right here. This is the Huda Beauty, the New Nude Palette. So let me open both of these products up for you guys. Let me put you guys down here and then we'll open everything up. We're going to use, we're going to open this up and look at that. But then we're also going to look at this right here, the Huda Beauty, the New Nudes Palette. I think this looks absolutely gorgeous and it has an eye primer in it. So you don't technically need an eye primer separate from it. So that's really cool in my opinion. So here's what it looks like. I think it's gorgeous look at those colors this looks amazing it's called excite that looks so beautiful so this is the palette I want to play with this week I'm going to figure out if I like it or not so that right there when I do my haul update I will know if these palettes work for me if these products work for me actually so the other thing is this lips palette from Anastasia I really think this is a cool one because after falling in love with the Urban Decay ones. This one is even cooler in my opinion. Oh my gosh, I can get it out. It, it's even cooler in my opinion because it's got like a little lip plate. It's like a little thing that you can use to put your lipstick on to create your color. But this has weird colors in it. Like it's got a white, a black, a it's got your primaries, your basic colors in here. So it's got a white, a black, a red, a yellow, a blue. So then you can use those to create your lip colors. And the little product right here, the little lip palette, the little lip tool, is like a spatula so it's got a spatula so you can mix it up on your little tray so i am excited about playing with this one as well so this is going into my shop my stash as well for this week then one more thing out of the box here this is the fenty beauty gloss bomb this is the universal one and this is in a diamond milk so this one looks very milky like so if you have the other one it looks more like pinky this one is basically a clear white or not clear white it's a white type of formula so we're going to try that as well this week so those are some items we're going to shop my stash for immediately now we're going to go over and we're going to find blush because i don't think i have a blush picked out yet for this week so or not blush primer we need to go to primer first 
let's get our priorities straight here. So with the It Cosmetics, I know that that's going to be definitely hydrating and illuminating. Hopefully. So I think I'm going to use this. I haven't used this in a long time. This is the Tarte Brighter Days. So this is a little primer. So this is something that's going to give your skin even more illumination. So I want to try this out. But I also want to pull my Bobbi Brown. I feel like I haven't been using my Bobbi Brown one very much. This is the Bobbi Brown Face Base. And I think this might work well with the It Cosmetics as well. So this one here is more like a, in my opinion, it's like a heavy night cream in my opinion that's what it feels like on your skin so i want to play with this one as well for this week then we have our blush palettes so we have blush palettes here i don't think i want to pull a blush palette i want to pull some blush singles because we've been pulling a lot of blush palettes lately so highlighter palettes i think i'm going to pull a highlight single so we're going to go up in here into the blush singles so let's go in here and let's figure out what we want to use this week I think this is an It Cosmetics one. Is that an It Cosmetics one? These little organizers are nice, but I have too much in here, so I need to declutter this drawer. This drawer is way too full. Let's see if we can pull this out just a tad more. There we go. All right, yeah, this is an It Cosmetics Ombre Radiance Blush. So I think I want to use this one this week because I am using an It Cosmetics foundation. And I know I haven't played with this one. In Actually, it looks like I haven't played with this at all, so that's a good one to play with. So we're going to play with that this week. That's going to be my blush for this week. I'm not going to pull more than one. I'm just going to pull one, figure out if I actually love it. If not, it can go bye-bye. Then we're going over to, we don't need lipstick because we have our lipstick, contour, and bronze. We do need one out of here. So contour and bronze, I think I want to play with this right here. This is a palette from um, Smashbox. It's stuck. So this is a palette from Smashbox. So this is the, what is this called? This is the Holidays Contour Spotlight Palette. So if you guys pick this up during the holidays, you probably have this as well. This is what it looks like. I haven't touched this yet, so I want to play with it. It's got some highlights in here as well. So I'm not going to pull a highlighter. I am going to actually use the bronzes and highlights out of here because I think these are some pretty colors and I want to play with it. Why not, right? It's sitting here collecting dust. <laughs> play with it. All right, so that's going to go in the basket as well. So I'm going to go up here. Now we have our basket sitting here and it's getting full. Let's move our computer over just a tad. I feel like it's in the way a little bit. So eye primer, I'm not going to pull one. I'm going to use the one that comes with the Huda palette. So I'm going to use that. The concealer, let's see for concealer. I really want to go back to using my naked skin. Gosh, I miss you. You're my favorite. I really want to use that again, honestly. Oh my gosh. I think I am. I'm going to use that this week. So I'm going to use my Naked Skin Concealer because I absolutely love that concealer. It works so well for me. For mascara, I'm going to use this little thing right here. This is a little freebie I got from Sephora. This is the Pat McGrath, Pat McGrath, <laughs> Pat McGrath Fetish Mascara. So I'm going to try this out. So it's in this really pretty blue packaging. So this is a new mascara that Pat McGrath has come out with. So I'm going to try that out. Then we have ink liners. So for ink liners, I want to use a Stila one. So this one I know works well for me. This is just a little tiny one, but it works. This is the Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. So I'm going to use that for this week. So stick that in there. Eye pencils. Let's see. Do we want any eye pencils? Um, no, I actually, I think I don't. I don't want an eye pencil. So brows. Let's do our brows drawer. So let's pull that down here. Um, I really want to use this again. This is something that was came in like a boxy charm a long time ago, but it works so well, guys. This is the Bodyography. This is called the Essential. I guess it's just the Essential. Basically, this is an eyebrow trio. So what you do with this is uh, you need two hands to open it, basically. No. <laughs> Hopefully we can open it one-handed. Okay, so you've got a light shade, a medium shade, and then a darker shade in here. This works really well for giving your brows that definitely, look. it looks like a, um, almost like a realistic effect. So I want to use this, but I also want to use a setting type of product. So I think this is a setting one. Is this a setting one? Eyebrow defining gel, yes. We'll use the Chella eyebrow defining gel. So we'll use that to go along with that. So those are the brow products I'm going to use. So I think that is it for this week, guys. So I have everything here ready to use for this week. I am excited because I have some goodies in here that I haven't tried before. I have some goodies in here that I've old and tried true favorite. So we're just going to play with this this week. I hope you guys enjoyed the Shop My Stash for this week. Let me know, are you shopping your stash? Do you have some new items that you're playing with in your stash? 
I am excited about trying that Huda palette out because that one looks really good. So I am super duper excited. Let me know what you guys are doing with your stash and your collection. Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, I'll catch you guys later.